He's more of a Yellowstone man. I'm a little Huddy kind of guy. I'm Team Huddy. Who's but, Huddy? Exactly. Exactly. Was he a SoundCloud rapper? Because I want to know. I'm Lil Huddy. What up to Huddy? Me, Tim Dillon, Huddy, all hanging. Nice. Lil I mean, Huddy was a TikTok star. Yeah. He was dating... um. Trippy Red. No. Uh, Charlie, Nikashi 6 9 the, the Charlie Dima, Dimalilio girl. The main TikTok chick was one girl, and they were dating. I thought it was Jessica. He's part of the hype house. I don't have to explain everything to I you. I thought it was Jessica Respin. Who? That's Jessica Rabbit. No. Fine piece of ass. <laughs> Man, that was my dream role when I was a kid. What? Not Jessica Rabbit. But... <laughs> Her ass? Yeah. No, to play the, the Bob Hoskins role. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted. That, that never did it for me. Roger Rabbit? The, the, the real world, the fucking cartoon. Zip it. Give me all or nothing here. Give me Shawshank or Bobby's world. What On the low, I didn't see it till years later. I was not swept up in it at all. I wasn't swept up in Aladdin either. None of that shit did it for me. Kick rocks. I told you. Like, mermaid came out. I like, I like that was it. just another day of school for me. Give me a guy with some trials and tribulations. You know what I mean? Like somebody who can't pay rent or has got to fucking rob a bank or something. These fucking cartoons never, and they don't do it for me now either. These goddamn superheroes kick rock. I'm starting to become, well, I don't want to defame it too much. But you're going to intro the show at all? You're fucking hosting. Oh, hey, everybody, and welcome back to them hard motherfucking feelings. I'm your host, H. Foley. I'm here with Kevin James Ryan. Hello. Toby McMuffin is in the building. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it tonight <laughs> on Hard Feelings. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Shake the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's bullshit with the 10 rings. I'm losing now. Uh, I, yeah. need a, I need a guy. I need a guy. I can't relate. And what I are guess. What talking about? With movies. Talking about movies here. Oh. Movies, Jerry. After Spider Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm. I got How one foot out the door. How many times can you see a guy fucking zip across the world? Give me real life consequences. They have him. The guy shooting fucking webs out of his hand. I'm supposed to believe that like he's. They gonna just get fought up. Chapter Eleven. Yeah, yeah, that's so. They insane. took his kid. So insane. Anyway. Yeah, it's no good. I'm off the superheroes. Fuck them. You know what is great? That I watched last Boba night. Boba Fett. Rounders, classic. What? You've never seen Rounders? No, I've seen it a million times. Do you mean my identity from 2002 to 2007? Which is why I wanted to bring it up. Everybody, Kippy, tell me you didn't get into poker after you saw Rounders. Uh, no, I got into poker through Chris Moneymaker when he made the when he won the World Series of Poker, I believe, in 2003. Let's call 2002. Uh, and then at that time, Rounders had Boiler Room and then Rounders, and then we created our own casino. Toby, you're a young kid. Let me take you back to that age. 32. Which I called the most brutal age of all. It was post 9 11. All right. A lot of people were moving. Snacks sucked. A lot of people. <laughs> Couldn't get good pita to save my so life. They just did get discontinued Dunkaroos. Yeah. Hummus out the door after 9 11. Uh, a lot of people were. It seemed to me like a lot of people were like starting to move back home. Move back to just like, your dirtbag friends. Who all busted out? <laughs> <laughs> they did all the blow on the Upper East Side, so they had to go back to the suburbs with Ma and Pa. Busted out. <laughs> yeah. You get out of here. Your, wor- your fucking worldview is so fucking skewed. So anyway, as I was saying, don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> you know it is, too. I'm giving you the skinny. Uh, <laughs> Nothing about you skinny. So Shout everybody was doing back home. Everybody was, like, doing, I don't know, whatever. Hold on. No, no, stop. This is how you describe things. Everybody was moving back whom? Who's everybody? Did you say whom? Whom. <laughs> hey, Horton, zip it, will you? I'm telling a tale over here. Who's everybody? I'm trying to chat this long hair up. It feels like a... Okay. No, not it feels. Give me everybody. You got to right, name right, at least... All right, all right, Jesus. Can I get a glass of water or something? If we're saying everybody, I need at least six people. All right, six? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, two of your dirtbag friends. Can I use you guys? <laughs> Hold on a second. You stink. It was okay. So I'm 45. At, around that time, people were starting to get married, uh, buy houses, and stuff like that. How old were you in Le- 2003? 2003. It was 20 years ago. You were 25. 25. 26. 20. So 24. people were starting to get married. They were starting to settle down. They were all doing like the suburban life thing, where they would have a party. This one would have a party. That kind of thing. And every fucking dude. I just had my tunes, man. Every fucking dude. They'd show up with the fucking briefcase with their chips. Yeah, uh, sorry we're trying to wet our beak a little bit. Texas, take for a little bit of scratch. Texas Hold'em was real big at the yeah, time. Shout, yeah, of course. Ugh, Some say the only pure game left. 
And let me, <laughs> let me tell you something. Those guys. Oh, are you talking about Doyle? <laughs> Shout out to Doyle Brunson. I know. John Malkovich? He, no. My what's, God. Doyle Brun, what's Doyle Brunson's hand? I mean, I, 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 uh, that's insane. Ten deuce, come ten, on, that's course. the Brunson. Yeah, of uh, course. Oh, ten suck. deuce officer. You want two fucking worlds? Hey, I'm drying up over here. Hand. Oh, are you? <laughs> Let me get a hose and hose you down like a like a whale getting shipped from tank to tank. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I'm abroad at the bar, I'm moving on to the next guys. You two stink. Um, Talking about rounders. Yeah, rounders is a great movie. And I tell you, Damon. Let me tell you the thing. other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Norton. Yeah, of course. Let me tell you another thing. That chick. All right, my what? my. Tell hoodie, me, tell me the, tell me the thing. My hoodie wearing friend. Sure. Those bozos that I see on ESPN for some reason in the middle of the day at like the World Series of this and the World Series of that. I want to smack the shit out of everyone. They're all fucking cunts. They have their hoodies and their sunglasses on. They're being real snarky to each other. They look. I just want to smack them. So I don't like it. I don't like the home poker thing, whatever. You play, don't know play, how to play, do play you? Play Uno, like a gentleman. <laughs> you don't know how to play, do you? Play what? Cards. Poker. There's like 45 different versions of it. I know It's what, all the same game of poker. Yeah, I get it. I know how to play poker. Deuces, aces, one-eyed faces. <laughs> <laughs> Dead man's hand. <laughs> all I need is a chip and a chair. <laughs> I, oh, man. Uh, yeah. It stunk. I played Hold'em from time to time. That's what it was like back then. You would have you would have hated it. I mean, dude, first of all, you act like you're a lot, hanging. A lot of royal blue button downs. Yeah, well, I do, yeah. There was a lot, a lot of, of Max. <laughs> Shout out to Express. Uh, <laughs> a lot of Maxim magazines uh, laying around. Also, like you paint. Ben Affleck could do no wrong. You paint this picture like you were cool. You were a fucking. You were a zilch living with his parents. Yeah, you were a drug nah, addict. No, I wasn't. I was living in New York on my own with my brother. You said you didn't leave your apartment for like 18 months one time. I still live there. You were a shut-in. And sure. that everyone moved away. Yeah. <laughs> and was doing I don't know stuff is what he said. <laughs> and no, whatever. Everybody seemed to be doing whatever. I was watching from a distance. <laughs> I was like Nick Cage in City of Angels. Uh, yeah, there was like a huge. That was a good thing about the early two thousands. What a movie! That there was a huge, obviously, like cultural, like the culture behind it. Uh, like, Douchebags. Yes, poker bros do suck. But poker anybody, bros do. anybody that latches on to anything like that is a doesn't have an identity themselves. I got swept up in that game where you bounce the ball on the on the little trampoline. What? That was like a craze a couple summers ago. Spike ball? Spike, spike ball. ball. Yeah, spike ball's all right. You, you got wrapped up in that? What do you mean? You haven't been to the beach in six years. <laughs> what are you talking about? I played it a couple of times. I could see Where, that. in Astoria? I could, no, at my parents. Some, one of the, oh, you guys are playing in the backyard? Oof, that's a beach-only game, the buddy. The kids were playing on the driveway. Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit. The Was the stickball court closed? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Throwing half a wiffle ball at you? <laughs> Jesus. Shall we used to play half ball. Yeah, we didn't play. Uh, Not stickball, half ball. Real South Philly, old school. Fucking yeah, half a tennis ball. <laughs> half a whatever. tennis ball. Yeah. A fucking the, broomstick. Up in New York, they got a real skinny stick, real big ball. Down here in Philly, we got a real big stick. <laughs> well, half, <laughs> ball, half, ball, ball. There was, half ball, there was an art to it. There was an art to the way you threw it. You had to, like, saucer it in. You could really get a piece of that thing. If you kept that in the end of the broom, <sighs> good night. Yeah, they used to play when... Uh, anyway, back to your Mahjong game or whatever you were talking about. I was playing high stakes. Get out of here. We, high I, stakes. Uh, we were, man. We were. You didn't have high stakes. Exactly. That's what makes it even more high stakes. You play... All right, so you would sit down at like a fucking... We each put in a couple hundred, like a hundred bucks or whatever, like three Where? or four of us. At a casino? No, you'd be playing. I mean, yeah, no, you'd be playing online if you're playing with like a team. Or we would go to the casinos, but when you can't. This go is a Friday night? No, this is a whatever. Wednesday? Yeah, I mean, we used to go to the fucking casinos during. We used to drive down to Atlantic City during the week when we were 17. It yeah. would break Shout down out to uh, Circus, Cir not whatever it was, the West. Circus, Circus. Oh, the, the wild. really Wild West. <laughs> that, dude, don't let anybody in there. There's infants dealing. It's crazy. Couple of toddlers. There's still remnants of that place too. There's still some murals up outside. It's connected to whatever we do the shows. At. It's connected to the club, to the hotel we did shows at. I want to hear how you, how did you team on online? So there'd be like three or four of us, right? You know, naked. <laughs> I'm bottomless. Uh, 
Just Bottoms is great. And, <laughs> Tippy's Wild. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I got two pair. <laughs> I got a set of deuces. <laughs> Full boat. I had some low-hanging eights. Oh, no, I got tight eights. I got a set of tight eights wired. Oh, sometimes you guys say shit on this. And I'm like, it's a shame it's mine to pay well. I know. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> no leaksies. <laughs> Chicken sandwiches. Um, <clears throat> no, so you would play, you get like... Uh, we would do this typically if we were like gambling on like, you know, uh college football or what like we would go through phases where we we're really fucking gambling. And I don't know why, why you rolled your eyes at that. You act like you're Sam Eighth Rothstein. You're no, couple, you the, you're a couple of suburban punks. Listen, to anybody that's parents anybody that's it. ever done anything and says they did it, you go, Whoa, this guy's done something. You believe this guy? Anytime anybody says, Oh, I've done this, it's like If you, it's something cheesy, yeah, I call gambling it. Gambling on if you guys said you were playing paintball or at a monster truck show, I'd be like, that's pretty sweet. So oh, gambling on college, watching college football and gambling with your boys? Is Not like, gambling on college football. That's literally the what poker. I just said. I yeah. mixed it in with the poker. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Are you all wearing khakis? What's going on? I was a jean man through and through. Um, but, so we'd be playing fucking, and then like at the end of the night, the games are over. So like you can't, there's no more fucking action, but you've been juiced up all fucking day chasing the dragon, you know? But like poker stars or whatever, you put a couple hundred bucks on there. Everybody throws up like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, whatever. And then uh, you sit in like a fucking, regardless of how much money you have, you sit in like a one-two game, like a one-two no limit game, like a smaller game. And then you you know steal a couple of fucking big pots and you level up, level up, level up. And then we were playing like five. We'd be sitting, we'd sit down with like three or four grand against a guy who had like thirty-five thousand dollars, and you just try to. At that point, you're just hoping to get a fucking. Oh, yeah. Hoping to get a hand quick and get the fuck out because, like, each hand's costing you, like, fucking 100 bucks just to stay in. So that's what we would do. And then, right, three, three I mean, now it's, like, it's like 11 bets. Now it's like three in the morning. You're fucking shithouse wasted. And things get a little reckless, you know. So you start firing and then, you know. What's yeah. the most you ever made? Probably. Four million? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably we saw. Pr- Chopped up a couple thousand dollars from a couple hundred bucks each. Okay. Yeah. I had a buddy in high school made sixteen. I don't know why you get so <laughs> weird anytime. You... Okay. Okay. I just think I don't know. Cars. You think what? Yeah. I mean, also twenty one's some... different. Somebody could sit there and be like, hey, I, "Hey, I thinking about being a twenty seven year old drug addict is also not the coolest thing in the world." I never said it was. I never said. I never said anything. I do is the coolest thing in the world either. Yeah, seem pretty. No, that's how you internalize it. I can be like, yeah, I used to, you know, I've done this once. You're like, ah, this guy over here. This guy. I like 21. I like roulette. You don't like any of that. We've been to the casino six months ago, and you acted like an undercover cop. <laughs> you literally stink. I you thought, don't like I thought any you of that gotten, stuff. I thought you had gotten $200 chips. That's why. You were out of control. No. You, you, you had the fever. You prop. I'm when, not. You're not going to Vegas. When people, <laughs> when people do stuff. You don't like having fun. All right. Discuss. If you can, okay. When people are doing cool stuff, yeah, you're always rolling your eyes, dragging your feet. Why are you doing this? Why? Let's go Not to the cool diner. Cool stuff. Oh, the diner's cool. That's. I mean, you <laughs> literally cried on the way in to, the, to water that gave you a transformative experience yeah. in Hawaii. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, dude, you're in Hawaii. Everybody's jumping off a boat, doing backflips, making out with chicks. You're hanging off the back crying. You stink. Literally, you have roadblocks up around every aspect of everything. Folks, the reports are coming in. <laughs> Nothing's concrete yet, but I have it over the wire. Uh, apparently, I stink. This is in from Chopper 4. Yeah. I still don't like caught I didn't like that time period. I, I'm literally not saying Can you have I to. Can I just look. say I didn't like that? Of Everybody's course. showing up with their own chips. And Listen, first of all, dude, if you're showing Making everybody play. Making a spe- <laughs> Ruining the party. Then your all friends All of a sudden, think. they set it up. And Listen. Come on, you got to do it. Then they're all smoking cigars. And your shit. friends like, stink. who the fuck are you? Your friends stink. Not my immediate friends. Uh, see, now here we go. That that does stink. They yeah, who, it, that's a bad party. Yeah, you should have been getting together to play the card. 
Yeah, you like I that's like that'd be like busting out like a bass and be like, "Hey, listen to me play music." Well, there you go. That's what turned me off from it. Anytime there was a, a football party, something for the e- oh, somebody never. had to show up with fucking let's play, let's play. Never. Hated that's that insane. Shit. That's fucking. That's the worst. Anybody t- somebody tries to bust out a board game and they're like, "You listen to the rules." It's like kick rocks. Let me hang out over here, and smoke some ciggies. I like a little Jenga every once in a while. I'm not gonna lie. A little jumbo Jenga. There's a great heavy. bar uh, up uh, up in Washington Heights. On, like, no, one, there's not. On one floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like bars. Do they serve hot dogs? They actually do. They have a great hot dog menu. Really? It's called the Wallace at the Wallace. You've been right next door. Remember when my they, first they night get in coffee. New York? My first night in New York, and we met at that bar at Harlem Public. Time we used to run the show at the coffee place. Yes. Right down from the coffee place, we met at that bar. Yes. Right next to that, it's like its sister bar. It's the same owner. Oh, I think I've been to that it's bar called with the you Wallace. And, um, with me. A Dominican friend of ours. Yeah, we had a couple beers in there one night. You've been up there? Yeah. Doing what? What were you doing? With you, you idiot. Uh, yeah, but why were we both up there? I don't know. We hey, you don't, you beer. Were... This ain't checking out. <laughs> <laughs> Tough break, Bold. You'll never catch me. Well, that's well, a good bar. They have do you, they have like a life size, not life size, but like bigger Jenga, which is a good time if you're hanging. But you go there to play games. If you go to a party and someone's trying to push fucking sh- Something on you that wasn't organized. Hey, we're having a game night. Come by. Hey, the boys are playing poker. Come by. We're going to do Pictionary. Come by. Sure, if that's what you go sign up. But if you go sign up for a fucking house party and someone's like pushing some fucking whack-ass game on you, kick rocks with that. Okay. I like games at parties, though. I think, like, if you're going and they're like, hey, does everybody want to play this? But, like, to someone set up a fucking poker game, I, I would know, even be like, no, So that's why I got a bad impression of it. Some dice, maybe. That's so one forgive of me. Uh, that's one of the house parties. or something? Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Dice, where are you with the... It's a goddamn communion. What's the matter with <laughs> Fucking scumbag. Shout out to 7-Eleven... Uh, not 7-Eleven. Uh, Left Right Center. Left Right Center is a great game. Did you ever play that? Bro, I, I don't like dice. I knew a guy who played dice one time, and he gave me a wedgie. I'm done playing I like dice. dice. No, I think this is more in the vein of, like, no, I don't take left turns. Yeah. <laughs> Some shit like that. Take a lot of- <laughs> I'm crazy. I take a lot of left you turns. You stink. <laughs> it's literally like... <laughs> it's Continue. literally navigating a psychotic minefield, having a conversation with you. What's left, right, center? Left, right, center is a di- uh, game of dice. Uh, you play with like a big group. It's like no commitment. It's like literally it takes a round takes three minutes or something. If so, if you want to play, you play. Uh, it's just like the money passes around. You got to be the last guy with all the money. Oh yeah, it yeah, like yeah. passes around in circle, left, right, and the center. Yeah, yeah, it's a good yeah, time. Yeah. You can play it as a drinking game the whole nine yards. I got you. Now a good drinking I've game. I played that before. I got nothing wrong with a good drinking. If people are playing, I wasn't a beer pong guy. Yeah, hey, you're, you're not like a fun guy. You're I hated, not. I hated that shit in college. Yeah. It was always dumb. That and going to the bars. Going to the bars is dumb? Yeah, it sucked. I liked having doing having parties. Doing drugs in a room. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, listen. Try that. <laughs> real, real fan of a snowstorm in July. Yeah. <laughs> Running the slalom. Doing with your, drugs with, in a with room your is all right. That's all you like doing, man. <laughs> doing you like two around. people. Listen, every decade you get three new friends. And they wash out the old friends, and you just uh, hang in a room and don't do anything and do drugs. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I can see why if you're not in the confines of your own room doing drugs and you're forced to hang out in public with people doing cool stuff, it can be a little annoying. <laughs> <laughs> if they're preventing you from doing what you like to do. Sure. Can you believe these guys spending money on a game? They can be spending that money on drugs in I, a room. <laughs> I know. Here they are playing cards. and not even really doing coke or anything. <laughs> no shit. What's the point? Shout out to Drugs in a Room. <laughs> Today's episode Man, of Hard think, Feelings is brought to you by the I good think folks. We, at I think we just room. really boiled down why you hate doing everything so much if it's not Drugs in a Room. <laughs> really? I mean, you've seen, I've been dealing with it for a decade, but you've seen it like the thing, oh, it's that guy, anybody doing anything gets a right away is a bad thing. Well, let's say this, and let's be honest. One hundred percent of the time, Hold you on. Could, we could be at the airport. Some guy's getting his luggage. You believe this guy put, pulling his fucking luggage? Wait, so he's doing a thing. Toby will back me up on this, and, <laughs> okay. and I'll tell you what, Toby, I want you to look inside yourself, and I want you to be honest. Be honest with me. I'm always an impartial. Is anything better <laughs> than drugs in a room? Than drugs in a room. <laughs> Let's Fuck. let's be honest. Is Hold anything? Up. But also, let me. He's raising a point. Let me also raise a point. Toby loves doing stuff. 
Toby's a big doing drugs. He likes doing drugs. No, he likes doing drugs so much. He does like drugs. He can't do drugs. I know. You shouldn't. Uh, I, I like will. I, I will say this: drugs in a room mm-hmm. does rip. Sure, but drugs in a room okay. is all right. Can uh-huh. I? Can I? Can I counter th- with with another thing that's pretty great? What? Drugs outside, outside is pretty good <laughs> too. <laughs> Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year the big man. I'll give you puts that. his outdoor pants on. Because when we when we went we when we went to when we went around in Austin that Saturday. Sure. Drugs on a bike. Oh, this guy. Drugs in a lake. <laughs> Drugs in a restaurant. Yeah. Drugs in an elevator made it weird for a minute. <laughs> that was bad. Drugs in an elevator. <laughs> you would read Drugs, my in a, Drugs in an elevator is no good. No. Drugs in a room's all right. Drugs outside's all right. Drugs in an elevator can go real wrong. That, I mean, it was also, it took nine hours to find out you were on drugs, which I got to give you. Drugs in private. <laughs> Secret drugs. That's <laughs> Secret drugs. Also, that's probably, that That beats, for me personally, that beats drugs in a room, is doing tons of drugs, and then no one knows you're on drugs, is like the best. Sneaky drugs. Yeah. Sneaky drugs. Secret drugs. Sneaky drugs. Secret drugs is all right. Secret drugs is okay for a while, but believe me, it wears on you. I can tell you that for me. Yeah, it's the law of diminishing returns quickly. Yeah, it's not that. It's very telltale heart. Um... But drugs outside is pretty good. Mm-hmm. But if I had to say, <laughs> drugs a, in a room on a winter on a winter's night, drugs in a low lit room, it's pretty good. Man, I th- I'm, this is like an epiphany. I feel I feel cleansed that I finally figured out why you ate everything. This is so is like it's not drugs in a room. Yes, if it's not drugs in a room, you fucking dig your heels in and just have so much resistance. <laughs> Man, man, this is, I feel like a new light. It's no longer Foley complaining. It's drugs in a room. Drugs in a room. I can just go, I get it. He does, he's not doing drugs in a room. He'll get over it in a couple of minutes. Well, we get to, I mean, dude, you can't. Or he'll be doing drugs in a room. You literally kick and scream with anything. It's great. Yeah. Usually wrong about a lot of stuff, too. Literally everything. Literally everything. Except for drugs in a room. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Big dur guy. <laughs> Ooh, I remember. Good. I remember do, doing opium in our fraternity house. Completely overrated. It, it was good. It was really good opium. We were having a huge party. Everybody was downstairs having a good time. There was like seven of us in the front, like bedroom, like the cool bedroom on the second floor. It had like the fucking traffic light and all the stop signs and all that stuff. It was very fraternity, nineties fraternity. And you think that's cool? We were doing drugs a, in a room. A, a stop light and a stop sign in a room. That's like out of central casting bozo. I'm just alert. telling you, man. That stinks. But if you invited me, but... me over to your room and there was a stop sign, I'd leave. But he forgot about the most important thing about the room: a, not drugs not in a room. There were the drugs in the room. I would go get my own drugs in my own room. It's pretty cool when you on opium. That traffic light's pretty sweet. I, think I remember somebody coming in being like, what are you guys doing? Drugs in a room. <laughs> I don't know, but shut the door. <laughs> I got weed in here, cowboy. I got weed in here, cowboy. <laughs> you should Costanza it. You should. All of your gut instincts are wrong. Okay. So then the opposite. Pertaining to regular life. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Yeah. What else would we be talking about? I don't know. Whatever. Foleyville? Who knows what goes on over there? All of your instincts to like something or hate something are wrong, right? We We can write that as fact. I'm right a couple of times about people. Very. You're, you're, I mean, as many times as you go, fuck this person, fuck that person, fuck him, fuck her, fuck this guy, fuck her over there. And then you meet them and you go, that's a great guy. You know who I hung out with? Great guy. We're best friends. If I was, a, di- if I was a dictator, there would be a lot of innocent blood on me. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of stays of execution going on over there. Kill him. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> no, the, hello. Kill him. The, if, you're, if, you're, if you feel like I hate that person, you probably just like them. You know, turn it. You're wrong. Just tell you. Your brain tells your gut that you're wrong. You see what I'm saying? You're afraid to go swimming. They're currently you think not going to bars stink. You think this that that's not fun. <coughs> going on a hike is stupid. I thought I think Disney stinks, and we're going. 
We're going. We're going. I'm going to be excited. I, I wanted to bring something up about that, if I may. Sure. Stop doing that. That's my thing. This guy. It's like fucking the talent of Mr. Ripley. This guy's going to murder me. I, I don't if know. I, what if I could get away with it, I would do it. Trust me. Really? Shoot me? Strangle? You're farting? You're farting over there. No, not at all. Something's happening. I swear to God. Is it my breath? Oh, it could be the onion. Pump that. All right. Moving on. Is that what it is? Toby, cut this. I don't know what it is. Because I feel like my breath smelled really bad when we did uh, SDR. And I was sitting right well, next to Jay. That was a week and a half ago, so that should, we should be worried about that still. <laughs> it was really bad. I, this is me. I do this. I literally do this. I want to play this game. You ever do potatoes? One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, or then you break them in a half. Kind of. No, you didn't do potatoes. Yeah, oh, a we little decided bit. everything. Yeah, you we were uh, eeny meeny miny mo family. <laughs> Did you do the end part? The end part was bullshit. If he hollers, mm-hmm. let him go. Eeny, meeny, my. That was nah, my mother know. told me to da 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 da. Yeah, my, nah, my, nah. My mother. We play. We were old school rules. We were street rules. Street ball. Yeah, no. That and ink a dink <laughs> kick rocks. <laughs> I'm it. It's bad. <laughs> Anywho, I've been thinking about the uh, Disney World trip. I've been planning. I got. I just got to pull the trigger on everything. Well, here's the thing, and I'm just. Think it out loud here, okay? Also, we just said every instinct you have is wrong. Okay. So let's maybe think the opposite might be right. All right, let me air it first, and then let's see what you guys think. Sure. I Okay, and this isn't even that kind of thing, I don't think. I feel a little guilty or a little weird going to Disney World without a kid. What are you talking about? We're bringing a giant baby. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going with I'm going with the world's largest baby. We're going to crown you when we get there. <laughs> put a blue ribbon on you. All that means is I'm going to shit my pants all weekend. Uh, well, I thought that was going to drink better. your food. <laughs> um, what can we bring a kid? No. <laughs> I was off whatever this was going to be, and I am so fucking in. Who's going to send us a kid? No, obviously not not that. Uh, like a, a a nephew, a cousin, or something like that. Can we bring somebody? Do we have anybody around? Oh, this is merch for Bunk C all over again. What's merch for Bunk C? I don't know. When is you... that one word, mer- merch for Bunk C? <laughs> no, 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 Bunk C. When you were shipping off oh, shirts yeah. at Sleepaway Camp. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. This seems like you trying to horn your fucking <laughs> niece or nephew into my trip. Do That's you, what it sounds it like. It sounds like you owe your nephew money. Yeah. Listen, what if like my uh, 22-year-old bookmaking nephew decided to come with us? You stink. Listen, the Morrisons, Let me guess. You got a nephew who will volunteer? The Morrisons are a family of five, and they're lovely people. <laughs> and the juice is running. <laughs> Listen, if we can do that trip this weekend, that'd be great. <laughs> hey, neither one of us can go. Yeah. That would really help me out. <laughs> yeah, it really helped me out of a pinch. <laughs> And listen, Plus, they want to do 12 keep it moving t-shirts. <laughs> they want to do the water park as well. Can one of them dance on Shamu? Now, hold on a second. Now, hold on. A Let, second. All right, this also raises I don't think you're going to fit on any rides. Ouch. That's a thing, this right? This is what March? I I also thought about this. Can we Google Disney for fat people? Google That's it. That's really fun. Yes. Uh, we're going to get you a, we're going to get you a scooter. Just are you really? just for the video. Which is why I thought when you said you wanted to do Epcot and something else. I'm not doing a scooter. I'm a fucking. What are you talking I'm in the gym fucking three times a week. What are you yeah. talking about? You're also at Crown Fried Chicken. <laughs> I Googled Disney for fatties. <laughs> and the first thing that popped up is traveling while fat. Walt Disney World Man. for fat folks. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking heavy bike. Shout out to it. Uh, Fat.com. This is why I think we should do that. For fat people, buy fat people. I, <laughs> I think we should do that fucking Star Wars thing. You love Star Wars. They have the whole Star Wars park. You walk around. You see something. You can build your own fucking custom lightsaber. We can put it on the set. What's that cost? Yeah, pricing gets. Does it get nuts? Yeah. Wait, hold on. That's not included? What? The, the, the Star Wars park? It's not included that's in, in um, Disney? That's in, what's the, that's in Disney movie. There's like a Hollywood one. Uh, that's different? It's not the regular park? No, I, I, I thought. No, the I, Star Wars is in uh, Hollywood movies or whatever. It's, it's in L.A.? No, there's a park called. Okay, because I was, because I, I Googled it to try and see if that was there to suggest it. Uh-huh. But then I couldn't figure out if it was in California or Florida, and then I finally I think there's thought one it both. was There's in one of both. Yeah, it's in whatever. There's a movie one, and I forget what it's called. 
uh, Star Wars Park, uh, Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World is its own park. Jesus. So, but listen, if you're going to fucking, if you're going to Disney, you got to do the Magic Kingdom. That's Disney World. There's not a whole shit ton for it, you know, for adults or whatever. It's all a magical place. Oh, yeah, you ain't fitting on shit, buddy. Uh, really? <laughs> what, what's it say for fatties.org? <laughs> it's mostly just this chick being real sad about not being able to do stuff in Harry Potter world. And it had to be asked to leave the Harry Potter world. <laughs> Listen, you don't want to do the ride. Everybody one. kept calling me Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> you little bastards, I'll get you. <laughs> hey, fatter Hagrid. <laughs> oh, door. Oh, God. Am I too fat for Disney? It's a YouTube video. By H. Foley. <laughs> that has 121,000 views. Jeez. God damn. Ouch. Um, this is a couple months away, though. March. Jeez. Well, it's also, we're close. We're about, we're about 50 or 60. I think we're about 60 away from well, this the guy, goal. This guy's saying he's 6'1", and when he was 390 pounds, I was able to fit on every ride I wanted to go on. Yeah, That's caveat. Yeah. <laughs> There was three kids riding him down the log flume. I had to go as the log, but I did it. This guy was on the hoagie coaster. What are we talking about? Went to Meatball World. <laughs> every ride, every ride I wanted. Yeah, like the plane. Dude, I was a, I, on first reading, I didn't catch that. I was going to be like, hey, Foley, good news. But then I was well, like, like, oh. That's also, a- you're not a coaster guy. I'm a huge coaster guy, brah. Coasters all day. I'm like fucking Dan Cortez in this bitch. No, you're not. The fuck I'm not. When was the last time you rode a roller coaster? I, I, 200 pounds ago, but I used to love doing it. I have hit them all at Great Adventure. I love roller coasters. Okay, okay. That's very new to me. Drugs in a room and roller coasters. <laughs> now I'm learning something about this goddamn guy. <laughs> I would have never pegged you as a coaster guy. Huge coaster guy. I've ridden them all. You said a Great Adventure. That's about six. Great Adventure, Hershey Park. Uh, I've ridden the Cyclone at Coney Island a bunch of times. <laughs> the only thing you did at Hershey Park is get stuck in a tube like Augustus <laughs> Gloop. <laughs> yeah. I right. competed in the PIAA State Wrestling Championships. Okay, all did right. That as well. Um, well, well, I mean, well, the chances the you night. losing 200 pounds by... Lost two in a row and I was going. <laughs> Can I help you? Walking Back around. to my hotel room for... Hershey's Drugs in a room. Drugs in a room. Drugs in a room. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the thing is, you got to plan these out pretty far. You can't just fucking, you know. Okay. You can't just roll up. I mean, I let's think take the, a kid. Who's that kid? way? They can live like they they can ride all the rides. Uh, who who's kid? I don't want to spend a fucking three days with a kid. Okay, hear me out. It could be one of your kids. I'm. They've cool all with that. been to Disney World twice. We we bring the kid. Would your sister? If you reach out to your no sister. way, they would give me one of their kids. Also, why why do I want that responsibility? That's insane. Because it's a f- place for kids. Yes. It's not a place for fat middle-aged guys. I feel Pers- bad going. Yeah, well, you have a lot of fucked up things going on in your head. I can't help that. Okay. We guarantee 200. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, and what I'm saying is we bring the kid. We don't bring him to the park. We leave him in the hotel room with a bag of Coke, let that kid do drugs in a room. Then we do a podcast with a child, Disney versus drugs in a room. It's pretty good. That'll Where can we get place. a kid? We're not taking a kid, man. 14, 15. That's too old. No, we're going. To, the thing is to take you to Disney. I just feel bad. Why? Because I'm an adult. I feel bad for like my nephews and my nieces. Tell them to stuff. get their fucking act together. Get a Patreon cooking. They can do whatever <laughs> the fuck they want. Come with my mom. Can I bring my mom? Patty, Patty. No. Me and Patty. We'll get our own room. We'll sit in a room together. Uh, no, I don't want to hang out with your mom for three days. Why well, don't want to hang? Well, that, I don't want to hang out with my mom for three days. Toby, what? So you want to take an older woman? To, what do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. I either need to run. Either need the yeah. youngest person or the oldest person. Yeah, <laughs> my mom likes Disney. She's been, but hasn't taken you. She went with her girlfriends, like maybe like fifteen years ago. Oh my god, we didn't have Disney money growing up. We went with the girlfriends fifteen years ago. Yeah, we barely had Summers Point, New Jersey money. Summers Point's got some cash though. But you're not staying on the beach. No. <laughs> you're over at Circle Liquor like a jerk off. <laughs> you're staying inland. Um, over there in Egg Harbor like a bozo. EHT, shout out. 
Uh, yeah, you can't. We're not bringing a kid. The the thing is, you going. That's the whole thing. And it's also like you drop this shit now when we're fucking forty people All away. All right, fine. So when are we going? I said the end of March. And then what's the deal? Out. I want to be able to go to all the parks. Okay, that's very expensive. Except for Harry Potter. What, that, what's this guy fucking ripping us off? <laughs> yes. yes. I, thought <laughs> it was, I thought it was all one place. That's the whole thing. It's a giant ripoff. I thought this was all one place. Whether it's 100 200 bucks, Disney World, here you go. Enjoy. You get to see the Harry Potter. There's the four fucking... theme parks. <sighs> what the? How Magic much? Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom's a pretty good time. Yeah, that's, that's what I want Those monkeys think. get after it. <laughs> that monkey cage is something else. It's a, it's a world in there. We got to do that, too, baby. I've been in a monkey cage. That's a good it's time. It's reckless. Um, You've been in a cage with monkeys? No, I've been in a monkey cage, like a zoo. Oh, okay. I thought you meant... They mistaked them for a gorilla one time. <laughs> Tried to ship me to Singapore. <laughs> I had to prove myself to the rest of the, the rest of the pride. They're still tracking me with the chip. <laughs> That's why when I fight, I got right for the testicles. <laughs> Biting. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I would say, or maybe we just <clears throat> you want to do the two major ones are Magic Kingdom and Epcot, right? Mm-hmm. Magic Kingdom is Disney World, like or Disneyland, whatever the fuck. That's like the one, right? Mm-hmm. Then there's Epcot, which is like the globe, which is also like iconic. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, what, what ones the, do you want to do? It's up what to about you. the Animal Kingdom? Is that separate? Give me the four again. I just did Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney, Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Where's the water park? Two water adventure parks, Disney Blizzard Beach and Disney Typhoon Lagoon. But you can like add them on as a package. Listen, I'm not getting top of I'm not getting to the top of fucking Shotgun Falls and having to watch you walk back down the stairs. <laughs> okay, it's not my we're son. Hedging, we're hedging our bets here. <laughs> well, were you too fat? No, I pissed myself on the way up. I said everybody. I don't like them. those. I don't like those enclosed uh, tubes either. I like. One I'm not a big fan of you either. <laughs> one of those guys. Uh, so I think get some flex seal or something in there. <laughs> You better have a big plunger. That's why oh, I would. If I ever got stuck, oh, if I ever got stuck in something like that, I would freak the fuck if my arms were pinned. Ah! <laughs> Little kids coming down on you. <laughs> um, I would, you listen. It's also like I, I'm I'm the kind of guy where I go like if you go to Disney and don't go to the Magic Kingdom, it's kind of like what's the photo opportunity in there? Are you not allowed to take pictures? You are right. No, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can film on your cell phone and all that stuff. Yeah, we we're gonna have your T Bone's gonna have to go with a, a light crew. Yeah, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking a three man job. <laughs> I actually already Who's a wheel man. I already have the plan in my head. I mean, you that just you're allowed to film and take pictures. So like if you just bring a camera in a camera case, like this is my personal camera. The 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 move is you put the you put a camera strap on the on one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it hangs on your neck. People think you're taking photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot video though. Yeah, 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 for sure. And, and then probably the, the, and then the 360, 360 camera and then cell phone. Yeah, your cell phone. You should be fine. Okay. Uh also like there, uh, there's not much at Magic Kingdom that I remember as like an adult. Like I went you know, I don't know, four or five years ago or something like that with my family. Uh, See, I would feel, okay, I feel... I, we can I, do Epcot. We for sure have to do Epcot. That's where you, like, drink let's around Let's do the Epcot world. and Disney, because I'll tell you what, if I went to... I would feel strange as, as, an, as a grown man going to the Star Wars and having a good time without, like, my nephew. I would feel like a piece of shit. Okay. Seems like layers of stuff going on there, but... Sure. We'll get into. Uh, Yeah, so... But, like, there's nothing at the Magic Kingdom other than, like... Fine, let's go to the Animal Kingdom. If we did Epcot and the Animal Kingdom, that'll be, that would be fun. If, we, if you guys got shithoused and then we went to the Animal Kingdom? Well, that's the thing you got to do. I'm not trying to get arrested in Orlando. You ever seen... Do you know how hard you have to work to get arrested in Orlando? Orlando? You, ever seen you have to do a lot more drugs in a room, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> drugs in a monkey cage. <laughs> <laughs> Drug, drugs with a zebra looking at you. <laughs> Hey man, you're up. <laughs> you know any chicks out here? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
That's why he's the boss, folks. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, isn't it pretty crazy? This show's behind a pay. This show's better than AYG. <laughs> oh, oh, man. The visual I got on that at Etsy. <laughs> that was a good piece was, of business. Was, was he sitting on a couch? Because mine was. <laughs> No, he was sitting next to me in the back seat of the car for some reason. Oh, really? I, I was, was in a hotel room. I was I was in the middle, and we were doing it. He was in the car with us while we were on safari doing coke, and I was like holding the mirror and the straw, and he was just next to me, like looking ahead, <laughs> sitting up like a human. <laughs> oh, fuck. ah, that's a good, good, good. <laughs> What we should do, Animal <laughs> Kingdom for sure. All right, Animal Kingdom we'll do we'll, we'll do early in the morning, like we'll do first half of the day because then it's also, uh, it's pretty expensive, uh, per day per person. All right, we'll do it all in one day. Let's go to fucking Animal Kingdom and then do Epcot in the afternoon. What's that? Give me a number. Two something ahead. What? Two two hundred ahead. Two hundred and fifteen ahead. Two hundred and twenty ahead. That total for both parks. Yeah, that's the park hopper pass. So you got me, you, Toby. Mm-hmm. So that's six bills right there. And then we need a ho- seven. But yeah, we need a hotel for tonight. No, well, we we're gonna do the do do a house. Right. Yeah, stay at a house. That way we fucking hang. You stretch out. You got the pool. Stay at a house for a couple of days. Yeah, do like two three days down there. What the hell are we gonna do the rest of the time? What do you mean? Fucking chill. You got the pool. We got the dinner. Fucking hang. Relax. A little R and R. Foley. All right. You've heard of drugs in a room. Drugs From the makers pool. of. <laughs> now we're drugs in a pool. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's got a fucking. I've done drugs. I love drugs in a pool. It's got a hot tub. It's... I like drugs in a steakhouse, too. <laughs> What's I'm saying? So he's got a fucking. The espresso, a little Zambuca. The guy comes in, you run to the bathroom, you come out. Nah, I'm good. <sighs> Hot smoke after that. It's nice. Why not? It's going to be like, you know, it'll be after. Harvard, I'll be here. It'll be after Pittsburgh, I think, or Buffalo, or something like that. Oh, uh, somewhere cold. Yeah, nice well, like, why not just go fucking? We're going down there. Why not take a day or two to fucking just chill for ourselves? Okay, fine. Also, we'll shoot fucking content in the fucking house. We can do a fucking 100%. a bonus or two from there and stuff. And like, fucking have a house. We got a fucking pool. We got a hot tub. We got a grill. We can go out to dinner. Get a car for two days. Okay. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. What are we doing here? All right. Animal Kingdom, Epcot. Animal Kingdom, Epcot. Knock that, knock out Disney in a day, and then we'll take a day for ourselves. You can't go into the Magic Kingdom to take a picture in front of the castle? Is that what you're looking for? Well, I think that's what everybody would want. That's what everyone thinks. I was thinking that, that like that and like the fire. Do they do the fireworks in Florida like they do in California? At, yeah, but that's at Magic Kingdom at night. What would those three things run us? Uh, There's not enough time in a day to do. Three. Yeah. So even if, even even trying to get two in a day is here. Very we go. Ambitious. Why don't we do Animal Kingdom and uh, Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom? Now the Animal Kingdom, it's not going to be like fucking uh, Tiger. What's what's it called? Tiger King. I'm not going to feel bad for these guys, are they? I? I don't think so. I mean, it's like a proper. They do it nice. Yeah, they take good. care of them down there. Yeah. I'm an animal lover. I don't want to get caught up in that. Um, but you gotta do Epcot too. That's the thing. That's the ball. The what? The ball. The globe. The ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do all three of those. That's now we're talking two days. I don't think you can knock them all out in a day. No shot. You'd have to do like two hours at each one, maybe. Ugh. That's a lot of moving and grooving. I, I, I mean, I think two in a day. Based on, like, the... I mean, I told you I watched that documentary on the development of the Disney Fast Pass. It's called... It's Defunct Land. It's the YouTube channel. Check it out. It's fucking awesome. I have an idea. It, it's going to be tough to get fucking two parks in a day. Yeah, well, like, also... Two in a day? You think it's going to be tough? It's well, not said, easy. You said there wasn't much at Magic Kingdom. We're just kind of blowing through there to, to whatever. Let's do this. Let's do Magic Kingdom and Epcot Center in one day. Then the next morning... We go and do the Animal Kingdom, and then we fucking kick back like hoes on Melrose for the next couple of days. Because that's the fun thing we want to do. Or do we? I don't even give a shit. Just do Epcot and uh, Magic Kingdom. I'll be happy. As long as I get some merch. I want to get a stuffed animal or something like that. Sure. One of those big lollipops. Plus, I hear the food down there ain't too shabby. Food's all right. Yeah, food's all right. Plus, I got, you know, there's like downtown Disney. 
which has like a couple good steakhouses and stuff like that. Skid Row. After dark. <laughs> Get the real feel. <laughs> Who wants to go for a ride in Tent City, huh? <laughs> I got shanked by a cop. That was a trip. It was crazy, man. I sucked Goofy's dick. <laughs> I got beat on a couple bags of H. It was just tobacco. Sounds like fun. Yeah. So we'll look into it. We'll, we'll finish up some of the details. Or what? we just go to the Star Wars, and I make you do the full Star Wars experience. Where like we wear like the Jedi outfits, and we walk around like goobers the whole time. I don't think they'd let you in in a Jedi outfit. What do you mean they wouldn't? Well, it, yeah, they're real strict about canon and stuff, so you'd have to be a hut of some kind, Jabba or otherwise. <laughs> can't, have a, can't have a fat serviceman That was a real around. deep cut, but for the Star Wars fans out there, I know you appreciated it. I know I did. Uh, I don't think, like, kids, they'll, they'll let dress up. Oh, really? Because they, then they, they put, you look like... I uh, worked there. I worked there, yeah, and they don't want... To, they do not want that. You'll be in Disney jail. <laughs> Why's Darth Vader eating all that pizza? <laughs> Standing in line for a turkey leg? <laughs> You're in the monkey cage? Hey, he's from here originally? Or? Okay. Um, yeah, we can figure and, it out. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for going. I'm of course. Just saying. I have a little... A little uh, yeah, fair enough. I feel weird going without a kid. Yeah, fair enough. You know. Um... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, but I got two three things with this hard feelings there. You know what I mean? Lay it on us. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, we got uh, we ordered a new dresser, right? You and the lady. Me and me and the bird. Uh, she ordered a dresser. IKEA. No. Fucking Bob's Discount Furniture. You're joking. I swear to God. With the cartoon guy? Yeah. She ordered online without me knowing. And she doesn't know that it's like a joke of a fucking... It's a cartoon on a cover. I know. Oh, she went online. <laughs> Whatever. She doesn't know. So I go... She goes. I don't know how they have that much money for those commercials, by the way. Either. By the way, it wasn't... They do well. It wasn't cheap. It was a fucking expensive fucking dresser. How much? Six something? What the fuck? Yeah. It's, my, like, it's a very nice dresser. My boy was a salesman at a Bob's Discount Furniture, and he said the worst part of the job was that everyone would walk in and be like, Discount? What the fuck is this? Yeah, no, it's wildly <laughs> expensive. That's how they get you in a door. It's straight clickbait, dude. Yeah. Cute cartoon and a discount. Yeah. Then they get in there. They, 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 they close like sharks. You get chalk blown in your eyes. <laughs> Like the Mutter Boys down at the wharf. The one time I kept the, <laughs> the dead rabbits. Me and my boy were shopping for a couch when we lived in that townhouse in Bucks County, mm-hmm. and we walked. We were like, "Oh, we got to go to." And every place we walked in, we walk in and be like, "Hey, man, what's your zip code?" And we're like, "What the fuck?" So we like told. And like, I'm that guy where I'm like, I don't tell you anything. If people ask, "Do you need help?" I go, "Just looking." I'm, they, I'm they, picking they, up my mom. Get they out. They ask here. you for your email now I, with everything. Say, mind your own fucking business. I know. What's your email? Let me look you up. They stay, They say it in a way of like, you're the dickhead if you don't give it to them. I know. I finally found a way to get around that. I did it, I did it at HN the other day. They said, you can't, he said, are you a member? I said, I'm not, and I'm not going to be. And she went, okay. Yeah. And I moved right it, along. Yeah. No and no thanks. Dumb I bitch. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, Um, But, so, she she orders it. and um, Nope, just nine pairs of black jeans, please. <laughs> What's your bed bug policy? <laughs> we I, haven't I gotten thought, to that. I thought this was on a public episode. Yeah, we'll get to it. Um, so I, God bless her. She just doesn't understand things in New York are different than things elsewhere, right? Like convenience. You got to pay for convenience in New York. You know what I mean? And the delivery was going to be like 150, but they were going to come assemble it, like the white glove service or whatever. And she's like, the thing was already 600 bucks. And then like another, like it came to like high sevens after everything. And she's like, then tip in. She's like, she didn't do it. And she wanted to surprise me with it is what she wanted to do. She wanted to be like, oh, here it is. (laughs) Here's a ruined Tuesday night. You ain't wrong, but it was Saturday or Sunday. I would fucking lose it. So, 
I get the I get the call. So she goes, I was supposed to do something this week where I was gone. I don't know if it was like a recording day. She was going to take the car, get get it all loaded or whatever, and then like have it. So I come home. Was she going to put it together? Yeah. Or have one of the, I guess, one of the guys. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So she wasn't setting you up. No, she the the the, the idea for the present was or like you finished know, finished here you okay. go all your all clothes right. are in it because we got rid of the one we had and then we never fucking replaced it I've been living out of my closet and I fucking hate it it's like it's like we have like a shelf like it's this whole system but like you're digging and then things don't it stays neat for like a day and then it just turns into fucking chaos we just did ours I'm like looking through things they're falling I'm shoving them, and I'm Getting dressed. I hate getting dressed already because I'm a fat piece of shit. Changes your whole fucking, your, your whole life around when you organize and clean all that stuff. So we just, so that, and every morning I'm like, can we get a fucking dresser? Like, I'll, I'd will i lose it. I'm like, get a fucking dresser. Just pull the fucking tray. I don't care what we get. Just get a fucking dresser. Real cool. <laughs> <laughs> fucking haven't even had my Cheerios yet. I'm, I'm motherfucking her. <laughs> hey, I'm going to frittata take the edge off, right? Um, so, uh... She was, that was the, the plan was, all right, I'm going to do it, you know, get it. So it's all set up, have his clothes in there. So he comes home from recording or whatever the fuck I was doing. Um, but then she's like, oh, I'm going to pick it up Sunday. Do you want to go? I was like, yeah, I'll go. We get out there and I just got. What happened to the fucking drop it off? And it's she was going to go get something. Something happened where they weren't going to get dropped off. So she was going to have to tell you this. Up. Hey, I wanted to have this present for you, but it's not going to be ready until Sunday. You want to go out? She's with me like, "Yeah, I'm going to go." I'm like, "Oh, I'll go with you." I was just sitting at the fucking house. How was she going to get there without without you? My car. She was going to take the car and go. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't have her chained up. Yeah, she's allowed to take the car. Well, you, you there's no way you could have not gone. You would look like a dirt bag. Of course. So, like, my arms twisted a little bit, but it's also I don't mind. Um, it's in Hoboken or something. Secaucus. That's where it is. It's right over the bridge. Sure. About Here. 22 minutes away. Not bad. Um. So I go, all right, we get over there, and uh, it's fucking freezing cold out, like proper freeze. So you pull up to the window. Oh, this Sunday. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking freezing. I didn't come out of my apartment. It was bad. At all. I know. So we pull up to the fucking, we pull up to the front door. She runs in. Hey, you go, go into this little, like, pickup counter, and then they tell you to go back, to, like, back into bait fucking two or whatever, you know. So we back up there. It's, like, 15 cars. It's kind of chaotic. You know, this is a Bob's. This is a Bob's discount furniture. Not so discount. You already ordered, so you just back. She in ordered and paid. I just got to back in. So I put the seats in the car down. It's gonna fucking slide right in the trunk. Trunk's not gonna close. I'll tie it up. Fucking out the door. Um, the guy walks it out and he's, he's walking out. He's like, this ain't fitting in that fucking. It's a big fucking box. So he's like, you want to unwrap it? So we try to get it in. It's not. It's not getting in. Won't slide. It won't the- slide. It won't make that fucking angle. We have it, like, vertical trying to get I'm like, this ain't. And it's fucking heavy. It's freezing. Like, so cold. Can I have a glass of that writer's tears? <laughs> this is fucking... Goddamn fucking wild car weekend, too. I know. Wild car weekend. Oh, this might have been Saturday, then. I think this was Saturday. Wild card Saturday. Yeah. There was two uh, games. The um, birds were on. Yes, it wasn't Sunday. Birds it was Saturday. Were on Sunday. So, yeah, it was definitely Saturday. Um, or Friday. I, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, freezing cold. It's a Friday. It was, no, it was Saturday. We went to Beacon on Friday. Um, it was freezing cold. So he's like, yeah, you want to unbox it? And I go, absolutely. No. Get this delivered. I'll pay whatever I have to pay for someone to fucking bring this to my house. This is crazy. I'm not unboxing anything. Dude, like, your hands are already hurting. I'm like, if I'm, like, ripping open car, I'm like, no way. I said, hey, set it up. He goes, no, nah, you can't set it up. You can't set up delivery. You've already claimed it or something at this point. I go, that's nuts. I go, fucking send it to my house. He goes, no, I go, I'll pay whatever. He goes, no, no, you can't. I go, so if I go back inside, they're going to tell me they can't send it? He goes, yeah. He goes, listen, I got a guy. I go, all right, this sounds kind of up my alley a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a guy. Has he done time? Yeah. <laughs> What's the finger tattoo situation? Yeah. I like the guy, right? He's done a nickel. So he goes, call this Years guy. Years ago, but he's done a nickel. So he goes, call this. So I call this number. Uh, he doesn't answer. So... Isham, the guy who... Uh, this is an Amazon Prime. You're I know, with. yeah. <laughs> this guy's a friend How of... How can I direct your call? This guy's a friend of a friend of Bob's discount. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes, how can I... Uh... So I go, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not... And also, like, we were kind of... Me and the lady were really bumping heads at this point. So I'm like, hey, man, we're going to wrap this, like... 
what are we doing? Uh, I don't. At this point, I'll torch the thing. I don't care. I'm, I'm just like, hey, man, I'm leaving. What, how can we get this? He goes, give me your number. Uh, so, like, I transferred numbers with Isham, the guy who was helped me try to put it in the car. And he goes, ah, uh, when he calls back, we'll, we'll figure this out. I go, all right, see ya. Hop in the car. I'm on the bridge, and I get a call from the original guy, the, the truck driver guy. Not the guy at Bob's Big Disc. Not Isham. Not Isham. Mm-hmm. Steve. His boy. Steve's, yeah, Isham's boy, Steve. So Steve goes, yeah, what's up? So I'm, st- I'm thinking he's got the rundown from Isham. Like, hey, you know, I gave Isham my address, everything. Better get that bed book story ready because this is a heater. <laughs> Sweeps week. I'll tell you that right now. So I go, now he goes, and yet the accent's thick, and I'm on the speakerphone in the car. It's not fantastic. Like, tr- and I'm like, I go, yeah, for Bob's big boy or whatever, <laughs> Roy Rogers. And he's like, what one? I go, Secaucus. I go, he goes, all right, send me the paperwork. And where are you? I said, I'm right over the George Washington Bridge in Washington, in New York, in Washington Heights. Okay, just send it to me. No worries. You know, okay. He goes, I need the paperwork. They're not going to give it to me without a picture of the paperwork. I'm like, don't fucking, you know, whatever. Talk to Isham. That's what I'm saying. So I go, hey, and Isham kept the paperwork. So now it's a panic. We don't have the paperwork. Isham's got the paperwork. (coughs) Isham's got it. So I go, Isham, he goes, send me a picture of the paperwork. I got to send it to Steve, the driver. Yeah, you got it here. Bada bing. So I go, here's my address. Here's my thing. Okay, cool. He goes, yeah, maybe in like an hour and a half. I go, all right, great. Two hours goes by. Hey, I got it on the truck. I got to make two more stops, and then I'm coming. I'm headed straight to you. No sweat, baby. I'm here all night chilling. You let me know. Hour goes by, at least. Two hours goes by. We're now like... You know, he said an hour and a half originally. We're now like four hours in. But I'll, again, I'm not sweating. Has a price been discussed? 110 on the original, uh, the original call with him. I said I'm in Washington Heights here. No, no worries. 110 bucks, I can do it. Throw a tip, 150. You're out the door. Out the door. Uh, and he goes, "How many stairs does it have to go up?" I go, "No stairs. Just get it right inside the door. I'll push it on the fucking elevator, and we're we're you know we're going from there." So then he hits me with the uh, toll. Yeah, I get a call. I didn't know you were in New York. I go, what do you mean you didn't know I was in New York? I texted you my address, zip, city, state, zip code, and all. I told you on the phone that I was right over the George Washington Bridge in Washington Heights, and I said New York, and you said 110. He goes, they're going to charge me 50, 60 bucks to get over there on top of what I'm already paying. So I'm like, so he goes, I go, he goes, but I already got it on the truck. And I went, ooh, you fucking snake, which I think was a snake move. I got it on the truck. I'm headed your way. I didn't really, he got me hook, line, and sinker with the 110. Then calls me with the upcharge of it's going to be another 40 bucks. So it was? So I'm like, uh, now also, I'm, I don't know what fucking cash I got on me. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like. We, I, I, I made, I made the one fifty, but now I'm like, I don't know what else I have fucking on me laying around, you know. Oh, oh Venmo so man, nothing. <laughs> so you act like, oh, I, my, like there's honey buns stacked around there. No, but I mean, at this point, I got the, I got the, so I go, I got 150 uh, k, but I gotta pull got the drive off. You You got nothing. I'm saying I got the nut covered. I'm like, all right, well, I'll, I'll cover the toll, right? Yeah. And I'm like, but I don't know what else I have. Fucking, I just need a twenty or something. What did he say the final price was? He didn't. He's like, ah, oh, it's one ten. They're gonna charge me fifty for the toll. So you're at one sixty. And I'm like, all right. And he goes, uh, oh, he did say. He goes, I guess. Uh, I was like, all right, man. Like, I can throw you more money. Like, what? Are you, like, it's you. You got me by the balls here, Steve. You got my fucking product on the truck. You're headed to my. What am I gonna take? Bob's big boy ain't gonna take it back. And I doubt his real name was Steve. It was not. Hiding it. It was Bob. <laughs> Little boy. <laughs> After all that, you asked the guy, you ever meet Bob? <laughs> <laughs> so how long you known Bob? Uh, but it was my thing. I'm like, you got me. I don't have any option at this point, which I think was a move. Do you think that's a grift? I don't know. You got a pretty dumb face. I never, I never saw the guy. I talked to him. Yeah, he probably looked you up. <laughs> This is that podcaster. <laughs> that podcaster comedian. 
Maybe. This is my thing. Don't do this. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's on the truck. How do you not look at... Ah, uh, there's a lot fucking wrong here. Then all of a sudden, it's on the truck. Uh, there's no option now. He's either got to leave it on the side of the road in Hoboken, or he's got. I gotta pay the. I gotta pay the troll toll. So what you do? So he goes. I'll do it for this price, which was one ten was the original quoted price. Oh, he'll do it for that. Yeah. So now I'm like, well, I'm like, I can throw you some extra fucking money. Yeah, there you go. So I had a hundred and sixty. So That's I gave a him solid move. No, then it wasn't a grift. It's a grift if he doesn't. I think he's waiting for people to go. Well, think about it this way: he quoted you one ten. There's no way anybody's charging just one ten, knowing they're going to get whacked over the head with a fucking sixty dollar toll on the GW. So for, no. for an hour's worth of work, that's seventy. That would be seventy bucks. Yes, also, yes, I don't know how that, much that no. toll is. That toll could be thirty bucks. I don't fuck it. You ever drive a tractor? It was a, like a box truck. You ever drive a box truck across the GW? It's about forty fifty bucks. Well, you don't know that, Kobe. One axle, unicycle. Um, no, whatever. Check it out. But whatever. Even if I'm just saying if it was, that's, I think that's his way to go and what can I get out of God, it? And I wasn't barking orders at you, buddy. He's happy, oh, you weren't. He's you happy weren't. to do it for 110. I'll do it for 110. But you're telling me at no point did he look until he was at the GWB? I mean, maybe he didn't. You're not dealing with fucking, uh, what's his name? J.P. Morrow. What's it called? J.P. Uh... Who's the guy with the mustache that delivers office supplies? W.B. Mason? Yes. Yeah. That's a class operation. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just felt very like... What do you got, Tobes? Uh, this is only saying stuff for five axles, where you get fucking jacked over the head. Uh, What's no. five axles? 95. There you go. Yeah. I mean, he was no, it wasn't a five axle. It was like a box truck. It's 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, so I'm saying 30. If he's going, to, it's going to cost me 55. <laughs> he might have fledged. He might have That's what I'm saying. a little bit. That's what I'm but saying. No, if it was an actual grift, he would have never bent on the 110. Either way, you gave him the, the thing, right? Yeah, I gave him like 155 or 160, whatever I had on me. Because I was expected for 110. Fucking guy. It's a jam up. So I told my wife, I said, just get, from now on, get everything delivered all the time. We're never fucking picking anything. There's no easy way to do it. If they say it's going to cost $150, that's what's going to cost time and money and sanity. Like, I'm not taking a train to a car to a guy to a thing to a boat to a ferry. To save 30 bucks. Give me the fucking, give me the 150 out the door. They'll come and fucking install it for you. Meanwhile, it was already fucking put together. Oh, it was? Came all in one piece. Oh, nice. This was a nice saving grace. I got to give you that. Oh, that would have been, yeah, that would have Open been. it up. We're like, oh, fuck, it's together. Cool. Donezo. Nice. Didn't put the legs that on. That could have been a divorce. <laughs> You're just looking at planks of unfinished wood. Yeah. You got to stain it yourself. <laughs> Dude, wait, wait. Who's put, got a beveler? We put, uh, I put the king size bed frame together. And I mean, I'm not exaggerating. There was an extra bag, like proper extra bag of hardware. And she's like, what's this for? I'm like, ah, it's for the blinds or something. So when you <laughs> put it upside down. <laughs> yeah, throw those out. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, it's good yeah. stuff. It's good stuff. And you got nothing to contribute? Oh, we're going to Toby. See if he can beat that. Toby's in. No so, so what, you just don't bring anything to the fucking show? Well, not at this. We got, we got two high storylines going on here. Okay. I told you I stayed in all day Sunday. I don't know where I can really go with that. I yeah, I'm a, your, your new homework is to fucking not stay in a room and do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> go live a life. Go to the park. Go rock climbing. Go for a hike. Do something. I'm doing all that stuff. I'm out fucking getting. Are you been rock climbing? Is what you're telling me. I took the subway here. That's why I know there was. Yeah, because no, I, I you... know there was no train delay. By the way, no, there was. Busted cold. I took the same train you did. You did I was uh, taking the seven because I was coming from the hotel. I saw you on the train. You you don't take the train. He took the train today. I think his. I I genuinely think his parents took his car. No. Because there has there's been that idea has been kicking around a little bit. <laughs> You've been asking me about my personal lease on my car. Car's fine. I'm trying not to use it that much because of uh, it's getting close to the end of the lease. All and right. you are over. You got to be over. No, I'm not over yet. I have 5,000 miles left on it. When's the lease up? 2028? December of December of this year. Whole year. So 12. Wait. Oh, my God. 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles. In 10 and a half. And 11. We, oh, I love this. You're back on the street. Did you take an Uber from the train station? No, took an Uber. I, well, 
<laughs> Uh-oh. It's a two-parter. <laughs> Uber got your tongue? What happened? No. On my off days when I'm not at the gym, I have to accumulate 10,000 steps. Mm-hmm. And it's been hard to do that. So I buy them off my neighbor? It's been hard to do that by driving in. Like, say I would... Say like say I would drive into work, drive home, and then walk up to the gym, walk on the treadmill for a half an hour, and then walk back. That still isn't. It's got now close. you're going to take an hour to walk around a track when you could just walk to places in your life. Is what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And they're hard. They're hard steps too. Up the stairs, down the stairs. Hey, you 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 get out of subway shape really quick. I'm sure it's fucking brutal. I don't. I haven't taken it in a while. Uh, they killed that girl yesterday. What? They yeah. Did? Guy pushed her on the track. Killed her. Two cops were on the platform. Why? Sent her to meet God or something like that. Jesus. Yeah. That sucks. He was all smiles on the way out, too. Who was? The guy. A little cuckoo bananas. What are you, working the crime report? What's <laughs> going on? I read the paper. Fucking Jimmy Olsen over here. I read the paper. You don't read the paper. You don't read. There's no way you got a paper delivered to your house. I do. Which one? The New York Times. No, you My don't. wife does, I swear to God. And the, and the New Yorker we subscribe to. Really? We're learned Manhattanites. I gotta start getting the New Yorker. Mainly lay it down so I can shit in the living room. <laughs> 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 no, she gets the New Yorker. I don't get the New York Times. Oh, you don't We've gotten that. one New Yorker. I should Wait, say. you're double talking to me here. Do you get the New York Times or not? <laughs> Do you get the New Yorker? Yeah. We've gotten one issue of the New you Yorker. You get New York Magazine. No. Best brunch spots around Soho. No, we get the New Yorker. The heavy hitting, hard pieces. She does. She won it in a raffle or something. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't read it. She picked it up. I'm, more of, a, I'm more of a TikTok man myself. <laughs> it's from a couple of years ago, but still. Anywho. What? Forget about. We got two hot storylines. Let's switch <laughs> well, over. Well, he's got to save. We're done, I think, right? Are we? Oh, okay. This is what I'll say. And he slipped Can through. I- can I just can, can I just ask where the cat is right now? The cat is holed up in a Holiday Inn Express by the airport in parts unknown in Queens. So I assume that he's all hopped up on skag. And can I ask out. you this? Did you go behind the bed and make sure there was no holes in the walls and all that shit? Yeah, the bed. There's no way for him to get under the bed. The he he did great, honestly. Did you put the privacy sign on the front door? Of course. Nice. TV on? No. What if he's in there crying? Are you allowed to have pets in this jump? Yes. I was supposed to. We were supposed to be yesterday, but then the fucking. It's a Holiday Inn at the airport. It's not. It's near the airport. It's near JFK, I guess. It's on Queens Boulevard and whatever, 61st. I know that Holiday Inn. The Continental Breakfast. (laughs) Let me just say. They're not real eggs. (laughs) Hey, that. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be yesterday, but then the fucking exterminators canceled. I called them, called them up, lost it. Uh, I've never yelled at customer service people before, really. You did it today, about an hour ago. I yeah. didn't yell. I was poor Kurt. bastard, of Jersey Mike's. I was, I was, I, I was Kurt. And I want to talk to Mike. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I lost it because I called it. I woke up. Or I didn't go to sleep because I was making sure everything in the apartment was absolutely gone. My apartment is insane right now. In, inside of my apartment is a couch, which after this, I'm going to go disassemble and throw out. Uh, there's a TV stand with my TV on it, Xbox, a couple cameras, some pictures on the wall, end of list. Jesus Christ. Toothbrush. Uh, the, the ex- you have to wait another month, too, right? No, they're coming back in a week. And then after that spray, you can you're good to you're good. Yeah. The and then what are they? I think the, 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 the pest control dude who came in this morning and saw the place. He was like, where, where are they? Or where's the mat? I, I threw everything out. And he was like, I have never seen this before. And I was yeah, like, I'm crazy, man. I was like, yeah, dude, extreme <laughs> prejudice, bro. Go to, the, go to orbit and nuke it. Did dude. you ask Aliens. him, hey, can I start moving my stuff back in? I would have asked him. So you're not waiting another week. I, I'm pretty sure you're clean. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not dealing in pretty sure. We're dealing in absolutes. This is how you win I mean, wars, he's been fully. living like a fucking spy for Who the past Christopher Nolan? five weeks. What? Yeah. Look, this is how, dude. But but here's the thing. So I've gotten rid of all my worldly goods. I'm like a monk now. Wait, hold on. If you get rid of the couch tonight, what are you gonna sleep on? I'm gonna get an air mattress, hang upside down in the shower, and then we're gonna kick it on that air mattress. Then we're gonna get that other spray. We're gonna fucking make sure the coast is clear. And I'm gonna get a few things, but I plan on continuing a very thin existence in that apartment until I get a new place. You gotta get out of that place. I right gotta get. Out. What are you doing? I'm gonna call the guy today. Yeah. 
Just say, hey, listen, my, my financial position has changed. Don't say for the better or for the worse. Just say my financial situation has changed. Uh, I, need to, I need to move out. And they'll go, please, because they can't evict in New York City. They just extended it, I believe. Uh, and they can't hit my credit or fuck me up in some no. way? No. no. Then why They'll, even sign a lease? What do you mean? They can. The only time you can sign... The only just time make they, sure you're getting your deposit back, too. Yeah. So the only time they'll fucking... It'll go against your credit or, like, a judgment is if you refuse to pay rent. Okay. If you go, hey, I'm out of here, and he goes, yeah, please, you know, lease is terminated or help me find someone new or whatever, that's fine. Um, but... Yeah, just, yeah, I mean, I did the same thing. I said, hey, I'm fucking out of here. Look, it's all good. That's just stuff, man. You're just going through your, 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 your dark New York moment. Yeah, dude, I'm going to come out a beautiful, a beautiful little butterfly. It ain't so bad so far. I get to rebuild from the ground up. I take that back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this guy's watching too much Gary V. <laughs> Forgot about that one little caveat. I apologize. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either. His girlfriend passing away. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Guys, we love you. We Please. love you.